summer in the snow. It's only 14 miles from the African coast near the southern extremity of Spain, but like Blackpool Rock, it says British right the way through. Ceded to Britain by treaty in 1713, it has firmly resisted all claims of Spanish sovereignty ever since. Now, in a referendum, the people of Gibraltar have a chance to choose by ballot whether they wish to retain the link with Britain. It may appear a foregone conclusion, but a free vote is itself part of the democratic principles Gibraltar seeks to preserve. Four polling stations for the electorate which numbers just over 12,700. Among a team of Commonwealth observers attending the referendum, Mr. Hutchins, New Zealand's ambassador in Paris, and from Kenya, Mr. Owino. Voting now, Gibraltar's chief minister, Sir Joshua Hassan. The Gibraltarians realize that by voting to stay British, they only encourage the hostility of Spain. More frontier restrictions and further obstacles to air travel are certainly on the cards. Spanish jet fighters about the airstrip. Now the votes are counted. The observers there again to see fair play. The boxes marked B for the vote to stay British fill to overflowing. After a poll of over 95% of the electorate, only 44 votes were cast in favour of joining Spain. An overwhelming decision. More like election night in Trafalgar Square, and for Britain, almost as significant. Yeah. 